The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. It is telling your story so it gets heard, understood, and remembered, sometimes feel like Mission Impossible, then Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR can help. Jerry's here on the Experience Pros Radio Show at this time every week with a tip to help you tell your story. Jerry, welcome back. Well, it's glad to, I'm glad to be here, Eric. Hey, what's our storytelling tip for this week? Well, you, the story tip for this week is that your message is really more than just the words you say. We've talked a lot on this show about, um, you know, crafting your message, being able to say it in 15 seconds or less, because right. if you can't, the rest of us won't be able to understand it or remember it and repeat it, right. uh, that sort of thing. But um, the reality is that as important as the words are that you say when you're talking about your business and telling your business, it's not really – there's more to your message than that. I would agree. Yeah, because your message is really – it really is who you are and what you do as much as it is, it is about what you say. And it, you can say whatever you want, and um, all of us may believe you uh, for a while, but if, if your actions and who you are don't match up with that, we'll quit believing what you say, and so it won't matter what you say Yeah, anymore. it really does become a, an issue of credibility when, when uh, talking about uh, does, do, do, do the words line up. With, Absolutely. with who you are in uh, other circumstances. Absolutely. You know, I a few weeks ago on your show, I talked about a, an example from a speech writing conference I went to some years ago where there was a woman there who wrote speeches for the president of her company. And, you know, he mispronounced words and he stumbled over grammar and all kinds of things. But uh, because of who he was, it didn't matter that he did all those things. The fact is most of the uh, speaking he did was to his own employee group. But, uh, you know, they would have followed him anywhere and they believed him because they just knew they could trust the man and they knew that he was uh, a sincere, authentic human being. Yeah, you know, wouldn't we all love to have that be the story for us? You know, I would love to, to be in that very same position where people say, well, you know, uh, yes, he, he coughed and he choked and he did, <laughs> but he, they still know what I'm talking about. Well, actually, I think you are. I mean, I think one of the things that makes this show work so well, it makes experienced pros work so well, is that. Um, you know, you spend a lot of time talking about and, and promoting other businesses. Sure. Uh, and you talk about and you give a lot of tips with your Frank Circle and all of those things that you talk about. But um, I think your business, as much as any that I have ever come across, you not only talk a good talk in terms of providing a lot of valuable information, but you and Angel really walk the talk. And wow. And 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 the, as a result of that, I mean, it it has to. I mean, it has to do with the credibility of your show, but it has the credibility of just who the two of you are, because well, uh, everybody knows. Well, you can kind of take these people for who they are. I, I thank you for that, and and really, you know, for us, the biggest thing is that uh, if you take us for who we are, we hope that translates out to the people that we do business with. You know, the the people that we have on the show, yourself included, uh, those are people that you can trust, and they've gone through the filter process, and we do business with people who uh, have a similar uh, s similar mentality. Yeah, and I think that's important. You know, I, I spent 17 years on the corporate PR staff of the local phone company. It was one of the, you know, one of the regional baby, baby bells created when AT&T was broken up. Sure. It was U.S. West when I was there. Uh, later became, became Quest, now CenturyLink. And, I remember that. And, you know, we had a very large advertising and public relations staff when I was there. We spent millions of dollars um, on advertising and marketing and public relations, all designed to talk about who we are and what we sold. And I suspect they know where this is going. Yeah, and, and a lot of that was very effective for, for many, many years. But we went through some places there where it didn't matter. One was when we were still U.S. West. Uh, we got into uh, a lot of uh, controversy over whether our service was adequate, mm -hmm. and we said a lot of things about it, and I think that the things we said were true and made sense. But at some point, the Public Utilities Commission became um, involved, and employees started talking to the PUCs about things they thought were wrong, and at that point, you know what? It quit mattering. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't matter what the truth is. Uh, it's the suggestion uh, well, and, that, that sometimes and I And I think things. that there was some truth on, on both sides. I mean, my sure. point is that, that at, at that point, that because employees were talking to their families and to their friends, and in this case to the PUCs, 
we could have spent billions of dollars and it, we, it just wouldn't matter anymore because that was a more powerful message. And, and another example of that, and then we'll get into something more positive, was when, when it became Quest and there was a guy heading that company who's now in prison. And I literally remember going, and I was no longer working with the phone company, I remember going to several parties around town, not phone company employees, just you know, folks, just average, all kind, folks. average folks from all kinds of things. And it, all of them over a period of about six months, Somehow or other, the phone company and the guy heading it came a co topic of conversation in a negative way, and it just sort of blew my mind to say, wow, I, you know, if this, were, if this were a bunch of phone company people, I would have right. understood it. But it was just folks at the – and that was because, again, companies spending millions of dollars on advertising and all these things, and they were just toxic. Yeah, yeah the way you spend all that money in order to become the, the talk of the town, if you will, and then uh, discover – you are. <laughs> so, so, Jerry, let's go back and talk about how we as, uh, as small business owners can uh, maybe you know, better our message in a way that is consistent with uh, all the other layers of our activity. Yeah. And first one, I think, you, you know, first of all, we talked about the words. The words you say are important. But, sure. But pay attention to what I would call the optics, which are really the imagery you use. You know, we have become a very visual society. Absolutely. And whether you're on Facebook or on your website or anywhere else, I would really encourage you to include pictures of some kind any time that you're talking about your message, unless there's just no way to do it. Do, but do you there, remember when the, the, the Internet was uh, a bulletin board? Uh, oh, yeah, absolutely. Right? And then uh, out came the World Wide Web, and, and we were like, well, what is this WWW? And they said, it's a file cabinet with pictures. You need pictures. Right. Oh, uh, no. and, and that is all the more uh, relevant today. Oh, yeah, the transformation in that regard has just been phenomenal. And there are so many stock photo houses and things that there's no reason why you can't make, uh, you can't add images to anything you do. Absolutely. You know, another thing I think is really important is the tone of your message. And it can vary from company to company. I mean, your tone may be very professional and very, you know, that you're the expert. Or it may be that you're fun-loving and, you know, pleasant to be around sure. or caring. Um, but you, you ought to know what your tone is, and a lot of that has to do with who you are. I mean, your tone here is very positive. I mean, I've taken it into a negative place here a little bit this morning, but th this uh, is no, a very positive show. We, we, d we recognize positivity uh, by way of understanding what the, the alternative to that is, and I would agree. And I think one of the things that we hear a lot is not just that we're positive, but that we're authentic. You know, And again, that's, that's what you're talking about is the consistency across the, the platforms. Yeah, and I think the other thing is you're crafting your message is that you need to understand who you are and you need to understand exactly what you do, but also where you fit within whatever business space that you belong in. Because the way you approach telling your story, even, you know, two companies that do almost exactly the same thing might have a very different approach to telling that just simply because the people who run the place are different people Absolutely. and have different personalities and want to be positioned different within whatever that industry or that business is. Absolutely. Well, you know, Jerry, this makes a lot of, a lot of sense, uh, and I want to thank you for the tip today. The message is more than the words that you say. We need to be consistent across all the platforms, including what we do behind closed doors because people are watching. Absolutely. All right. Hey, listen, if you want an article about today's storytelling tip on the Experience Pros, uh, you can go to Jerry's blog at jerrybrownpr.com. And I'm reminded that the late journalist, screenwriter, and Denver native Gene Fowler once said that writing is easy. All you do is sit staring at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. Hey, you know what? Keep your forehead dry. Hire Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR to help you write blog posts, social media postings, articles, press releases, PowerPoint presentations, and more. He can even edit what you've already written. Jerry Brown at jerrybrownpr.com. You can reach him again at jerry at jerrybrownpr.com or by phone at 303-594-8016. That's 303-594-8016. Jerry, thanks so very much for being here. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com.